girl say hi. This is Aggie. She is our cripple. And she gets special treatment. She gets her own little place here. This is our clinic slash little chickens. When we bring in a new flock, they get to grow up in this area before they're taken to the big chicken coop. Uh, don't have that going on right now, so Miss Agster gets to be the queen of her own place. Say something. Down here is Nettie's big flock. Had 20 chickens all together. We lost three. One little tiny hatchling and then two older girls. So Nettie's entire flock is 17. 16 of them right here. 17th one is Aggie who I've already introduced and they are convinced that they haven't ate anything. Got anything special to say girls? Then we have our kind of walkthrough gate down here. I'm gonna put in a couple more like that at the far end. And uh, yeah, the coop. Anybody that's seen the uh, Taj Makoop video that I had has seen this. We've done a few modifications to it. So inside the coop, you can see all the girls are coming in as well. Not completely certain what this is all about. But anyway, so yeah, this is pretty much the settled outside run area. As you can see, it's covered, so when it's rainy, they can stay relatively dry, but they've still got their in and out on both sides. So that's kind of cool. We have a uh, chicken guard. Ah, I just got picked. Knuckleheads would automatically open and close the door. So the big difference, since uh, the Taj Makoop video, probably inside here, up on this side, we ended up, we originally had the stoops quite a bit higher. Um, we've lowered them a good two feet or so in total height from what we originally had. Um, this side still stayed, stayed pretty much exactly as was. They use them. We did end up getting these boards here, right here. A couple of them and those, those actually go right in front of the uh, the roosts uh, in the evening time, we'll put the boards in there. Uh, that way, 
the girls um, can't stay in there during the night, so we close those off so they can't get in there. And because um, they get in there and they just make a mess and poop all over the place. So, anyways, looks like Lily's gonna go in and introduce how this whole thing works. Yeah, that works really well. Yeah, easy in and out. Yes. Anything else you'd like to tell the camera? Oh, I see. So you can come down and you can paint. You can pick. You don't have to take the middle one. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I see. That is. That works just as well. It's amazing how that is. Thank you very much for that demonstration on how that works. So then out here out back, Nettie had me get some crates and create kind of a little little area where she can make uh, compost. Individual kind of mixes, I guess, different different mixes in each one. Yesterday we decided to see how artistic our ladies were. So we put out a pumpkin, kind of put some triangle eyes and a nose and a mouth, and we're gonna check out and see what they've done this morning. Um, yesterday they were a little bit afraid of it. <laughs> Nugget actually ran to the other side of the coop and wouldn't come out. Oh my goodness, look what they've done. Oh, look at the eyes. They haven't worked on the mouth yet. See what we've got for egg laying situations. So we have Rudolph and Bitster. Okay. And then we have already deposited four eggs right there. Aggie's sweet back here. Okay. And then we have some. Eggs down here, and where we call Aggie Sweet. Nah. They come in, they know where the food comes from. Black fly larvae. Yes. The yummiest. Oh, yeah. It's sustainable. Hour later, they've managed to eat all the way through the inside. Meanwhile, the poor Dolly is overworked. All the chicken hurting, she needs rest. 